Oh, we on? Oh, how y'all doing, man? It's old Buckshot Beatty here, man. Been drinking like a fish here lately, my ass, man. Some good old son, buddy. But, uh, yeah, my wife, man, she been riding her ass about everything, man. I don't even know what the fuck wrong with her, man. Bitch crazy, man. Fucking went to the family reunion. She caught me looking at my other cousin and she tripped out about it. And she has been tripping out about nothing here lately, too, man. Like, I left the toilet seat up. Alright, and she come fucking flipping out about how I need to put the toilet seat down and shit like that. I said, you listen here, bitch. You don't put the toilet seat up for me. Why the fuck am I going to put it down for you? You know what I mean? It's either that or I piss all over the seat. You take your pick. I don't give a fuck because you're the one that's going to be cleaning the shit anyway. She didn't very much you like that, but, you know, the first thing a woman does is she get back from an abused women's shelter, right? Fuck the dishes if she knows what's good for her. Fuck. Anyway, man. Y'all got any problem with any crazy bitches? You going crazy yourself, man. There's some medication out there called Prozac. And, uh, it's pretty expensive shit. If you guys want to get a dose of Prozac, though, I got another way for you, man. I got that connection right here. It's called Prozac coming to Buck Eye Lake. Y'all don't know who fucking Prozac is, man. You need to get out of your grandma's basement. I'll tell you that right now. This motherfucker signed with Strange Music. Strange Music Tech 9. Yeah, Tech 9 the motherfucking beast. I, can do, I think I can do it like he does go, Tech 9? Yeah, that's how he do it. Anyway, he a motherfucking beast, man. We got a hell of a fucking lineup right here, man. You got Kane Cortez. I don't know if y'all heard of him, but you should if you from 740. I know you heard of Kane Cortez. And, of course, he got young face. He's always on these damn shows, man. Them motherfuckers don't get tired like Kevin Gates, god damn it. Speaking of Kevin Gates, I actually started listening to his music, man. He's not really that bad, but he robbed me on one of my motherfucking tracks, man, because I was talking about my moonshine, and I was like, I got six jars. I don't get tired. Motherfucking robbed me, man. I swear, now I got to rewrite the whole new fucking song, man. Anyway, man, we got we got Casper. Well, he also, uh, Casper Tackett, man, he, he fucking, he good people too, man, juggalo, woo woo, in the house, you know I am about them juggalo though, but, it's all good, man, as long as they show me love, I'll be right, Deuce One, I took about two of them this morning, Deuces, yeah, boy, one of them was running too, but, I won't get too much into that, man, my bad on that, got Visual Prophet, we got Life and Karma, man, that's a bitch. I tell you what, Life and Karma sucks sometimes, man. That goes right back and telling you my wife been being a fucking bitch here lately and needing some goddamn Prozac in her life. If your wife been being crazy and she needs some goddamn Prozac in her life, you need to hit these boys up for some motherfucking tickets, man. Uh, Agony and see Reckless, man. I've seen a lot of reckless shit in my life and one of them, my wife being crazy bitch, man. Fuck. You know, it's just a goddamn toilet seat. You know what I mean? Fuck, man. It's not like I get pissed off. She got fucking tampons laying in the goddamn trash can all the time. Fuck. Dog done ripped them out all over across the thing, man. Fuck, man. All you gotta have them damn dogs around, man. Sitting there fucking her and goddamn dog fart. That's all you smell the whole time, man. How the fuck you supposed to get down business, man? Anyway, I'm getting off track anyway, man. Uh, she caught me masturbating the other day, too. You know, you like to do shit in secret. And you be very private when you masturbate. But there's no way you can hide them stains. They see them stains on the sheets. They know damn well where they came from, right? Anyway, I got a point I'm getting to, man. Is there's been a guy that's been... No, he's not been masturbating, but... There's a guy that's secretive. Kind of like masturbating. And, uh... He's got a big stain. Stain in this music. This this local music hip-hop scene, man. You know, back in the day, man, we had people wanting to be rapped. We had people wanting to come out the gutter, man. And, uh... They didn't have no opportunity to do shows, man. We didn't have no... No Prozac's coming, and Stevie Stones, and all these guys that he's bringing to the, the Newark location. I mean, you had to go to Columbus, or Cleveland, or Cincinnati to get a show like that. So, man, I really want y'all to show some fucking respect for David Ford, man. I feel like he's the fucking founder of this goddamn local hip-hop movement. So, anyway, David fucking Ford is the stain on this local fucking movement. You get what I'm saying here, man? He's a fucking, he runs a CYE promo, which is uh, Cultivating Youth Entertainment. He's the one that puts all these shows together, man. He's a fucking Funk Volume Street team leader, dude. I'm talking all these shows. I'm not talking about this little Prozac one. We got the motherfucking hip-hop takeover come back, man. This shit right here is a fucking throwback, man. You wear some motherfucking 80s, 90s shit, man. You can come looking like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air for all I care, man. You know I get down with my camo. But I, I still might come rock out there with y'all anyway. But, uh, anyways, you know, 
Kane Cortez, Young Faith, you're going to see them about on their show, man. They grind fucking hard, man. Shout out to them. Alien Nash, he's another grinder, too, man. Uh, you got uh, Cameron Peck and Diz and, and uh, Clev Kevlar. Kevlar, I need some of that shit, man, because she be getting that gun sometimes when she get pissed off at me, too, man. The Kevlar come in handy. But, uh, man, you hit any of these guys up on these flyers and you can get tickets, man. But anyway, this right here, man, we're going to have a whole bunch of 80s and 90s music popping off all night long. Yeah. You know, like uh, DMXs, and well, actually, I don't know the fucking playlist, but uh, you gotta have DMX, and if you're talking about 90s, gotta have some noms. But anyway, man, like I said, David Ford, he is the funk volume street team leader in, in Ohio. And look, we got DJ Hopper, we got Hopper, we got Dizzy Ray, we got Dar Darren Bitten, and we got Dane. Is Dane gonna be? No, Dane's not gonna be there. I done put him, put him out. Oh well. But anyway. We got the motherfucking dudes right here gonna be here, man, man. Come to Park Street Saloon, man. And uh, that's Saturday, October 10th. Y'all need to be out there. It's in Columbus, Ohio. But it's well worth it, man. All age event. All age event, man. So y'all come on out and have some motherfucking fun. Again, that's brought to you by Cultivating Youth Entertainment. Man, I, I got to meet DJ Hopper, man. He went to my buddy's uh, wedding, man. He's a good dude right there. And, and Hoffman, dude, he speaks some real shit, dog. I'm telling you, real shit. Now, they don't got the lineup, but I can almost guarantee you that there's going to be some dope-ass artists from the 740. Actually, I got word, and I know who one of them are, so I'm not going to say nothing else but that. But but anyway, we got Cryptic Motherfucking Wisdom in the house. For y'all don't know who Cryptic Wisdom is, man, like I said, y'all need to get the fuck out of your grandma's basement. Cryptic Wisdom's a cool motherfucker, man. He's a real MC. He's a hip-hop artist. He's not just some fucking piddly old rapper. Not like no goddamn 2 chains and shit, man. He's a real fucking rapper. Anyway, again, Young Faith and Kane Cortez, man, you ain't gonna not ever see them on a goddamn flyer, dude. Like I said, they fucking grind. They grind hard. Visual Prophet, man, he's gonna be there, too. And there's gonna be more to be announced. And that goes with all these other shows, man. There's going to be more other artists on these shows, too, than just this, you know. There's going to be some other fellas out there. This one right here is the one I'm looking forward to. This is the Seventh World Hip Hop Takeover. This is the Halloween one. This one right here, you dress up. And, you know, Buckshot Beach is going to be there. And I'm actually working on some new material. And I might be performing that motherfucking shit too, man. But anyway, you bring a costume, man. Wear up, dress up, man. Dress up, man. Get your ugly face off and put something better on or something, man. Goddamn. You got $500 in prizes, man. We got the top fucking male costume and a top female costume. Man, we got some good people there. Kane Cortez, Young Face. Are you fucking surprised? America's Finest. Man, them motherfuckers been putting on for the 740. Man, shout out to Darren Decider, shout out to Keep the Keep, shout out to Munzo, shout out, uh, we got Rico, Rico Rails, bitch, that motherfucker's a beast, Rico Rails, bitch, that's my dude right there, that motherfucker be doing some shit, Sam Rothstein, man, that motherfucker's a poet, he's gonna be there, I can't wait to rock the stage with these, these are some of the dopest MCs in the 740 that, that we have to date, man, I'm not trying to disclude anybody out there, man, but these motherfuckers, are dope, dope motherfuckers, man, yep, anyway, on any of these flyers, you're going to see, I'm going to be hanging them up around town, around cities, and you're going to see any of these names, man, you can find these guys on Facebook, and you can ask them for tickets, now, I advise you for this show in particular to hit me up for tickets, you know, because I might actually go ahead and cop some real Prozac, too, and I'll hook you up. I better not put that on film, man. I get in trouble for that shit. You didn't hear it, man. I got Viagra, too. If you know anybody want any of that. Well, anyway, y'all. We got some real exciting shit coming up in 740. I'm going to be set doing separate videos for all this shit, too, you know. Um, ah, I got a fucking invention, too. I'm going to be fucking doing. I want to show y'all about it. Let me find my motherfucking invention, man. I fucking invented shit. Man, I can't find that motherfucker. I was drinking shine that night, man. God damn, man. That motherfucker's gone. That motherfucker's gone. Anyway, man, I get that, and I'm going to show you my new motherfucking Bass Catcher 1000. Blowing the competition out the water, man. I'm going to do all that. So, anyway, I'm going to sit here and drink my shine. Y'all have you a good time. I'm out. <laughs>